Hey everyone, in this video we'll be learning about .NET MAUI shadow view to any of the controls in our MAUI project and this is the C .NET MAUI project where uh, I am integrating the shadow to the box view, label, buttons or anything as you like uh, to integrate those shadows to those uh, uh, controls. So here I am giving the property for the box view as uh, 20 and uh, 30 and you can just add any of the uh, property value to the box view as you like so here we'll be coding in the csap and uh, later we'll be using dotnet maui community toolkit markup so that uh, it easy it's easy to get uh, lots of uh, bindings uh, uh, property to really work on so here i'm just re restarting the application and we'll just see the basic ui that is our box view with some shadows so that's it uh, for now but uh, uh, our uh, main motto is to let you know about how the project starts that is our shadow page and in order to create that shadow page uh, we are going to use .NET MAUI template and here you can see I am just using the content page C -SAP page and giving the name as shadow page and from the app.xaml.cs we will be calling this shadow page that's it so this is how we create the c -SAP page and then uh, we'll just uh, uh, decorate so, uh, or add it with the c -SAP coding to get those uh, UI uh, and now we'll be using the Maui community toolkit to uh, make our whole process easy and uh, here you will be using this plugin uh, for our later projects also we'll be using so I'm just making uh, this uh, uh, plugin implementation so that we'll be using it in our later phase whenever we are doing some binding with uh, c -SAP, creating some button clicks with c -SAP or label clicks with this c -SAP. Uh, so we'll be using this plugin itself so uh, I'm just not missing this uh, plugin implementation in uh, all of my projects uh, videos so here uh, we'll be using the plugin implementation that is this one so we'll just copy it and then uh, paste it inside the maui program.cs so here you can see uh, here at uh, below the use case of a uh, maui app and uh, it will automatically reference this uh, using statement that's it so we have successfully added the plugin implementation of uh, Maui community toolkit now what we are going to do is like we'll uh, we are, and this Maui community toolkit exposes some property for all the controls such as like height width and uh, other properties too so we'll be playing around with the property so here right clicking on the height it will just uh, ask us to quickly reference some of the NuGet package so that is uh, what we have previously installed and uh, we have uh, using statement of common toolkit Maui.mark that's it so here uh, the color won't be uh, added in the uh, using statement of .NET Mama community as uh, community toolkit as of now because it does not have that implementation for that control so we should expose it inside the uh, children of the box view itself so here in this place that's it now we'll just run the application to see the resulting output so let's wait for some time So the application is up and running and we'll just see the as expected output so uh, yeah so now uh, we'll just get the uh, output on our window so here you can see we have beautiful box view with the shadow so we, it is same as implementation for android and ios too that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for our next tutorials